to pull through. Maybe something's going on in the forest. at the landing.
my fists are crushing it out there. can bite you in the butt. Mahog Sar, a land where the winds scar and the clouds stretch far. Kisara? What is he doing? Reciting a poem, apparently. Just let him be. Quite necessary when creating weaponry. There's something in the water. Where should I cast my line? I'll go for that one. much of a challenge you sure know what you're doing ha! there we go not a fish I see often. I don't recognize that fish. Is it okay to eat?
Boy, that's a bit of a letdown. You take your fishing pretty seriously. Should I cast my line? Now, where might those fish be? Everything looks fine with the lure. All right, let's do this. It'd be easier to simply use astral arts to catch the fish and be done with it. <clears throat> oh, we've got a lively one. <clears throat> us in a big one. Hopefully it tastes better than it looks. What do you say we check back in on the ranch?
I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. There are still so many creatures we don't know of. This is a true masterpiece, no less than culinary art. Don't leave me. Care if I hang out for a while? We'd best get ready for tomorrow. Shall we get moving? Looks like we made it here in one piece. There's something in the water. Looks like we got another reward. I didn't realize that so many still remained. Dan and Owls truly are majestic indeed. I thought the Dan and Owls had all but died out myself. That's what I get for making assumptions. Just so we're clear, this place is supposed to be a secret. Yes, I'm aware. Places like these should be kept out of the public eye. It's a pity, though. With proper training, they could be made into a magnificent chorus. What are they hooting about now? Alfin and Xion can interpret for us, right? Huh? Oh, no, I mean, it was just a lucky guess last time. Yeah? Maybe you'll be lucky twice. Go on, give it a shot. Uh, really? Well, if you say so. Ahem. <clears throat> Let's see. Listen to them. Are they really up to the task? <sighs> what do you mean? You're the one who put them in charge. <laughs> it's my responsibility to protect our friends. Stop trying to take everything upon yourself. This is what the owls are saying? Of, of course. course. Uh... I must say, though, we've found quite a number of owls. It's a testament to how much you care for Hoodle, Rinwell. Hmm... I wonder which branch Hoodle will perch on. Rinwell? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Well, come on! The perches are only half-filled. We've got to find the rest of the owls.
We've reached our destination. I think it's safe to rest here now. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Hmm. I suppose if you're a lord going into hiding, a forest is one place to turn. We don't know for sure she's here. Keep looking. Shining foe over there. I have a bad feeling about this. Eat this! Where are you going? It's over! Now you see what I can do! Here I go! Come on! Here I come! Stop now! 
For the hideout of a runaway lord, this place is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Do you think she had it built with that in mind? No. Personally, I think this used to be part of a Danning castle or fortress of some sort. How can you tell? For one thing, it doesn't look like a storehouse. For another, it's old and you can tell it was built to let people hole up inside of it. Huh. I'll take your word for it. I don't know the first thing about brick. You know, I've always thought you were a smart little cookie, but damn, Rinwell, you really know your stuff. It's no big deal. I've just read a lot of books, is all. If this is meant to be a castle, there wasn't much to it above ground. Are there such things as underground castles? There probably used to be more of it above ground. That is, until 300 years ago. So the main structure must have been lost during the time of the invasion with only the underground part remaining. And then this Lord decided to use it for her own purposes. Have I got that right? But what reason could she have for using this place instead of staying back in her own castle? That's what we're here to find out. Whatever it is, she's up to no good. Right. It's all the more reason we need to hurry up and find her before it's too late. this thing. Get 
is full of weird machinery old and new just what the hell was she doing here by all appearances the sort of unsavory research she wouldn't want to see divulged even to other Renans? that's a scary thought this place goes pretty deep underground it was probably built that way so it could still be used, even if the above-ground portion got destroyed. Perhaps that's why it's still here, and why it was made into her hideout. It would certainly stand to reason. down where the railing has fallen apart. What? Are you serious? By all appearances, it would seem she was researching something here. You think so? What kind of research could she have been doing in a place like this? Your guess is as good as mine. Hardly anything the likes of us could imagine. Hmm. If we assume it was because this area is rich in astral energy, then it's possible she could have been doing any number of things. Indeed. Renan castles and spirit vessels are often found in such locations. Intriguingly, Danon ruins are also known for their abundant energy. You Renans attacked us. Don't act like you're just some... Sheesh, enough already! This isn't the place to pick a fight over this. How can you be so calm listening to all of this? You suffered at the hands of guys like him too! I mean, I wouldn't say I'm calm. Hmm. <laughs> Right. 
Barely a blip on our radar. Could say that again. Ah, guess I misread the landing. Who's in a bright and shiny mood? equipment. Anything that makes battles easier is okay by me.
the landing. There's nobody here. It's been nothing but Zoogles. No lords, no Renan forces. They have to be holed up somewhere, right? From the look of things, I don't think anybody's been here for a while. If anyone was here, they're long gone now. That can't be. Look out! We'll figure this out later. Right now, this thing needs dealing with. I don't understand. Did they all lie? They didn't seem the type to lead us on a wild goose Hey! Save your questions until after we manage to finish this thing! I know the demon fight! Let's tear up! Deny! We'll find a hey, yeah, right 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 Pieces! Attack time! Rising right right water! Mind if I do! Down Now! Pull it freely! Take it down! Take it down! Burn 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 it down! Sword right now! Too fast! Stand back! In a vine? Eat this! It's over! Astral energy! Full throttle! Here I go! Eat this! Take 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 this! No further. Grim! Hear my call! First try! I never miss! Hurricane! They just keep coming! Here's a healing art! Wind astral energy! Why aren't you human? To stop you dying? Here, let me help. It's finished! Let's do it! Glacial Spear! Here's the other one! Hey, one at a time! Here! They've got me surrounded! Attack time! One stop! Hail, buddy! Astral energy! Say no 
more. So much for finding the Lord. Come on, let's get back to Niaz. Shion, calm down. This isn't like you. What's wrong? Talk to me. It's none of your concern. Even after everything we've been through together? The two of us are only helping each other because our interests overlap, remember? Are you serious? You helped me come to terms with Zephyr's death. You put your life on the line to save me. Don't tell me you did all that out of necessity. That it was only because we have a common goal. <sighs> Fine. Huh? You don't want to answer? Then I'll do whatever I like from now on, too. Clearly, I'm just bothering you. So it doesn't matter if you tell me what's on your mind. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop looking out for you. Not now, not ever. That's not fair. Why can't you just leave me alone? You don't know the first thing about me. But I do. I know you care about the pain of others. <gasps> you care, Xion. That's why I want to help. Because of my thorns. I thought I had been doomed to a life of solitude. Until the day I died, I knew I would be alone. And now? Truth is, I'm trying to end my curse and get rid of my thorns. Get rid of? There's a way to do that? Really? I'm not completely sure. All I know is there's a chance. But that's the reason I need the Renes Alma. The Renes Alma? The Master Core to end all Master Cores. It is bestowed upon the winner of the Crown Contest, the new Sovereign, as proof of their victory. It must be assembled from all five Master Cores. That's why taking down the Lords is so important to you. But Shion, you're not in this alone. If there's a chance we can rid you of your thorns, I'll be by your side the whole way. That includes us, right? Like it or not, you're going to have to get used to relying on us every now and then. What kind of friends would we be otherwise? Thank you. Danon Liberation and the Renis Alma. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. If we have any hope of finding this Lord and their Master Core, we start by heading back to Nias. Man, who would have thought we'd ever get thanked by Xion? Sounds like someone wants me to grab their arm. Ah, I'm joking, I'm joking! Damn, you're scary sometimes. Xion's not scary at all. Uh, Alvin. Uh, I'll just, uh, leave you two alone. About damn time. Took long enough. Right. I can't wait. 
Head on over to the plaza. What's going on? It seems busier here than before. Hey, look! Isn't that Bayfon over there? Ah, there you are. It seems I owe you all an apology. I'm guessing you didn't find the Lord back in the forest, did you? No, but something tells me you already knew that. That I did. Turns out I bit down on some bad intel when I should have known better. Apparently, Deadeye's not as trusting of me as I thought. But why would he feed you bad intel? My guess? He wanted me to lead you all astray. Make sure you weren't sniffing around where he didn't want you to be. While you were off in the forest, I got word that one of our squads captured the Lord. The place wasn't even close to where you were searching. I see. Well, the important thing is that you finally caught her. Did you suffer many casualties? You're not going to believe this, but she didn't even put up a fight. She had no escort either. Well, what about her Master Corps? Was it recovered? Sorry. They only briefed me on the basics. For now, Deadheim's getting ready to make his victory speech out in the plaza. In the meantime, I've been ordered to set up a defense perimeter around the outside of the city. So I'll be out of town for a while. I imagine Deadheim will announce what he intends to do with the Lord during his speech. You'll have to let me know how it goes. Anyway, until next time. A Renan Lord surrendering without a fight? Something doesn't add up here. I'm afraid I can't say I know much of her lordship personally. There's a lot about this that doesn't make sense. The Master Corps is a concern, too. Let's stick around like Bayfon suggested and see what happens. We don't leave until we get to the bottom of this. I'm worried about just what Deadeye has in store for our maiden. For now, let's wait at the end until he gives us victories. Beach. Everybody's so excited. They can hardly be blamed when they've apprehended an enemy leader. That said, yeah, isn't there some way to calm them down? These must be the Danans the Darkwings freed. Yeah. The city might be in ruins. The people have risen from the ashes. This is the place Bayfon said Deadheim would reveal the Lord's fate. I wonder what he'll do to her. <sighs> well... Yes. It's Lord Almadria Kynaris. Please stop! No good can come of such hatred! Stop or there'll be no turning back! <laughs> Is this supposed to be justice?
I did warn you, did I not? Nothing good can ever come of such nasty hatred. <laughs> What do we have here? Could it really be the witch from Den? <laughs> Honestly, I thought I had wiped all of you out of existence back then. I guess there was one survivor after all. Mm. Hey, Rinwell! Shut up! This is the only thing that's keeping me going anymore! Stay out of my way or I'll kill you! Rinwell! I'll kill you. I swear it. I will kill you! of the same hatred as those people who died. You saw what she did. What are you saying? She should just get away with it all? You're right. Rinwell. I don't know what I'm doing. But still, I know it's wrong. If you go through with this... I know you'll regret it. I'm sorry. I am. Forgive me. I can't believe you. You, of all people. Of all the people! show quite finished. Why, you... For many years of my life, I devoted myself to the study of astral arts. But the knowledge I took from your family was truly enlightening indeed. For that, you deserve a reward. I shall allow you to taste one of the fruits of my labor. Hellish compositions. 
That is what I do best. Now we're full! Mom, I'm... Sorry for almost blowing me up? Hey, not like it's the first time. Come on, we need to take her down. Okay. Demon Fang! Ready to go! Yes, yes, what's on. this? Can't get out of here. Aim for the weak spot. Win! The water is like a power up blood already! Right away! Double demon fang! Slut! Right here we go! Here I go! This is not in dreams! Reload! Now you see what I can do! Shiny supernova! Ignite! Here's water fang! Rip it in there! Sleep now! Here I go! 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 Is everyone all right? Yeah. But I'm major, it got away. Linwell, are you... What... What the hell happened here? Bayfon, is that you? Thank goodness you're okay. I've been outside this city this whole time. But I sensed a disturbance in the wind and decided to turn back. What happened here? Where is everybody? All Matria's handiwork. She allowed herself to be captured so she could rile up the Danans into a frenzy and rob them of their astral energy. She wiped out almost everyone in the plaza, including Deadheim. Deadheim's dead. Everyone. And the Darkwings. Almost all of our companions in the Resistance. How could this happen? Regardless of what she had to gain, what kind of person would do something like that? If she managed to find kinship in Kelzalik, then I'd say the very worst kind. It's clear now that she used Menencia as a testing ground for the fruits of Helgen, before using them here. So everything that led up to this moment was all a part of her plan. Once she knew they'd eaten enough tainted food, she just needed to get herself caught. We have to go after her. 
Balseth and Ganabel were horrible, but Almadria makes them look like saints. I doubt she's really gone back into hiding. We have to put an end to this once and for all. Yeah, what she's done can't be forgiven. I... I don't know what to do. I saw what Hatred did to those people, but... Hating her is the only thing that's kept me going. I can't just stop hating her. What am I supposed to do? Tell me. Smile at her from across the battlefield? Apologize while we fight her? I don't know if I can do that. Rinwell. Nobody can understand what you've been through. We can't even begin to imagine the pain you've experienced. But if hate is what has kept you going ever since that day, then let it be your strength. However, think about this. When you've had your revenge, when we've beaten Almadria, then what will you do? Huh? I'm saying you're going to have to find a way to survive once that hatred is gone. When it is, what do you plan on doing then? I don't... I don't know. I've never thought about it before. Almadria's death doesn't have to be your end, too. You need a reason to live, Rinwell, not an excuse to die. Understand? <sighs> She's right. We could never truly know the pain that Almadria has caused you. But I think you should listen to Xion. Give yourself time to consider things. And if it's too much right now, it's okay for you to sit this one out. No. My head might be a mess right now. But I'm not letting you fight Almadria without me. I need to be there. Please. That much, I do know. I'm going with you. And on the road, I'll... I'll think about it. A reason to live. Without hate. That said, it'll be no good chasing after her blind with no idea where she went. Bayfon, do you have any ideas where she might have gone? I can't say for sure. But west of here is an underground harbor along a cliff near the coast. She spent years building a ship there, a floating fortress that she called her castle on the sea. No one quite knew why she wanted the thing, but now... Of course, she's already effectively destroyed her own capital. It's likely she planned to abandon her realm as well. Right. That's as good a lead as any. Let's go. What's that woman going to do next? Nothing good, I'll bet. We'll stop it this time. <laughs> I still can't believe what that Almadria did. Not only that, but she was enjoying it. It's patently clear she has no respect for human life whatsoever. We need to take her out. I don't think I've ever felt so enraged at another person in my whole life. Yeah! There's no way she's getting away with this! Then we head for the underground docks. We need to hurry. Rinwell, can you keep moving? Yeah.
My family and I, we spent all of our days just living in hiding. Until... Until one day when we were found and attacked. I was the only one my dad and the others hid. That's the reason I survived. While the rest of my family was butchered. The only thing that I could see was the crest of a lord glowing through the smoke. And then... And then... It was Almadria who did it. Oh. I'm sorry, Rinwell. That woman... Did she really find the existence of Dan and Mages to be that much of a threat? Enough to invade another lord's territory? No, I doubt that. Most likely, she was after their knowledge and techniques. She only did it so she could become stronger. That's the kind of woman she is. In retrospect, I do remember her making it sound like she created that monster she summoned. A monster? I wonder... Do you all think of me as a monster? Because I'm able to use magic even though I'm Danon? Rinwell... Of course we don't think you're a monster, you dummy. Huh? I might have had to hold you back, but it's her fault any of this ever happened, not yours. Got it? Ah. Looks like we made it here in one piece. I hope we manage to catch all made. Done. This is sure to give the others some much needed energy. Dohalim, care if I hang out for a while? <sighs> you worried about what's going on with Menencia? What makes you think that? Well, you were speaking to Kisara earlier, weren't you? It's rude to listen in on others, you know. Sorry. I didn't hear what you two were actually talking about, though. I just figured it was Men and Sia since it was the two of you. I am but a former lord who has abandoned his post. I'm no longer in a position to lead the realm in any capacity whatsoever. Yet Kisara still seeks out my opinions, knowing full well that is the case. This despite the fact I am no longer her master, either. Couldn't it be precisely because you're not her master anymore? It's natural for friends to want to hear each other's opinions. <laughs> I hadn't considered that possibility. It's funny what you miss sometimes. Hardly uncommon among artistic types such as myself. When lordships are decided based solely on one's astral energy, it can lead to funny results. But even so, you still took your job as lord seriously, didn't you? Certainly. I learned to perform my functions. However, I was less interested in ruling, so much as avoiding life and death decisions. Of course, such a mentality in the end led only to sickening pain and death taking place elsewhere out of sight. 
I pretended not to see or hear any of it, content to let our supposed peace and equality keep me blind and deaf to reality. I was a fool. But you're making amends. I would like to think so. The path ahead is dark, yet I still walk on. I merely pray that I shan't fall down any holes along the way. Do you mind watching our camp tonight? Shall we get moving? A dead end? No, there's an elevator. Looks operational. I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There are even boats docked. I only see Janets. Think they were forced to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadri. You didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. We damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her! You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there! You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set and we'll set sail. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. The pleasure's all ours. Think we'll catch up to her? Of course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. They got a good head start on us, but we can take them. Do you know if there are any Danons on that ship? Couldn't say for sure. On one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I'd reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. In any case, it's gonna be a while before we reach her. Till then, you're all free to do whatever. Just don't fall in the ocean. I know Mahavar said we could take it easy, but there's not exactly a lot to do on this boat. I guess I'll check in on everyone and see how they're holding up. You don't look so good. 
good. Are you all right? The floor. It keeps moving. How can you stand it? How can you even stand? I'm not the best person to ask about discomfort. I can't feel pain, remember? I still can't believe what happened in Niez. Even now. As a lord, my expectations for Almadria were already pretty low. But the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings. Yeah. And it wasn't as if the situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. You mean Deadime? The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like Deadheim. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Exactly. I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us. But nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Deadheim for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Doalim has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in? It's not solely something the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadheim's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. To hear Bayfon tell it, Deadheim wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Darkwings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? Maybe not. But to tell you the truth, these days I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. I know. My brother. He truly believed in his dream of coexistence. And I suppose, even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. Who, me? You and Xion. <clears throat> Not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? I don't know that I'd say spectacularly. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. I think I'm getting seasick again. Sorry. Can you just... Give me a wide berth for a few minutes. Hold that pose long enough and someone might just come along and paint you. Any artist who'd see fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times, after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenigus. Ah, oh, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? It's safe to assume they know everything, though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Not to my knowledge, no. At its core, the Crown Contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. 
So then why would Almadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the crown contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. No one could have foreseen that something like the Hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the Sovereign of Rena really that important to the Lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. In that respect, at least. I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did. As utterly despicable as it is. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Dead Eye did to that city, he didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict extends beyond Danon versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well, you seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. I took a look around inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know... It wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, and I could finally see the horizon in the far-off distance, I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different, though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just... goes on forever. I bet my old man would have been blown away by this view. <laughs> yeah. Ever since he died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck, maybe I'm just overthinking it all. But still, sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently. If there was something I could have done. But no matter how much I play it back, I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria, but was that really the right thing to do? Or did I just end up making things harder for her? I feel like such a screw-up. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think, how would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. And that's exactly what you did, Law. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. Law is okay? 
If you're worried, why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah. I think maybe I should apologize to him, too. I should apologize to all of you, really. Us, too? Well, I was kind of lying to you all this whole time. I was blind to everything except my own revenge. I never even considered the struggles all of you might be facing. We all have things we prefer to keep to ourselves, Rinwell. So what if you had something to hide? It doesn't undo the good that you've done, or the people that you've helped save along the way. But that's not what I mean. I know. You're talking about Almadria, right? Yeah. I hate her, Alfin. I can't stop hating her. Even just thinking about her makes my head feel like it's going to explode. But it's not just her. I think about the way Law looked at me. I hated the Lord who killed my parents. And I hated the Renans I had to travel alongside. And yet, Cislodius Danans backstab each other like it's a normal way of life. And Mahag Sar has people like Deadeim. But then there are people like Law and Xion. It's all just too much. I don't know what to think anymore. Law never said that you had to forgive Almadria. It's only natural you would hate your family's murderer. But... But what? Law left home because of how much he hated his father. As a result of that, well... I think Law spent a lot of time thinking about how they never got to make things right. And if I had to guess, killing Ganabelle didn't make any of those feelings go away. Law let revenge fuel him, and I think now he's afraid you'll do something you'll regret. Afraid? Whatever happens to Almadria when this is all over is up to you. I'll respect whatever choice you make. Just think it over carefully for me, okay? You still have time. Okay. Thanks, Alfin. Say, um... Back then, after the fight... I think I really made Xion mad. I don't know, though. Maybe it just looked that way. But... I guess... I just can't seem to understand how she feels. Do you know why she gets like that? Xion's... She can be a tough nut to crack. She doesn't really talk a whole lot about herself. It's just what she said about hate being a source of strength. Where did that come from? I wonder how it feels. Not being able to hold another person's hand. Much further, you'll go overboard. Keeping an eye out for Almadria's ship? I'm looking at the ocean. The ocean? Yeah. The waves. They help me think. This world is filled with natural wonders. The icy air and white peaks of Cislodia, the lush green glades of Menencia, the harsh wastes of Calaglia. But Menencia has its lake of death, and Nias its ruins. 
And they wouldn't be there if it weren't for that contest. Say we actually managed to put a stop to the crown contest for good. What do you think will happen between the Danans and the Renans then? You first. Well, I... I want to believe that the coexistence we saw in Menencia can happen elsewhere, too. It's just... it's insane for all of us to keep fighting. If Menencia can do it, so can everyone else. Yeah, I think that would be good, too. A world where everyone can get along. At least, that's what I've come to believe. You sure have changed. I can't lie to you. Since I was young, I've looked down on the Danans, too. But I've seen a lot. And I see things differently now. I've seen so many ugly and terrible things in this world. And yet, they didn't come from just the Danans. And the good things, too. They didn't come from just the Renans. Kindness and cruelty exist on both sides. A person's race doesn't factor into it. So, I guess you're right after all, Alfin. I have changed. You know, I've never actually touched another person like this. Shion. Ever since I was on Lenegas, I've always been alone. Even after I came to Dana. Always. And now? Do you still not remember your past? No. Sometimes it feels like I can almost remember. But then this mask stops me. The mask keeps you from remembering why you have the mask in the first place. It's a little ironic, isn't it? A little. <sighs> well... It won't be long now before you're rid of those thorns, you know? <sighs> Only two lords remain. And once you have their master course, you'll be able to create the Renis Alma, right? Then you can... Uh... <laughs> Shion? Sorry, it's nothing. Promise. <sighs> you're right, though. It'll all be over soon. I never could have made it this far on my own. I have everyone to thank for that. Including... Especially you, Alfin. Don't worry about it. We're friends, after all. Yeah, we are. Much longer it's going to be before we catch up to Omadria. I'll ask Mahavar. Look who's up! Good timing! We're closing in on her stern as we speak. That's the ship? She's huge! Law, go gather the others, will you? 
Think you'll be able to flank them without getting spotted? Yeah, with the fog as our ally, I think I might just pull it off. As long as we ain't too noisy, we should be okay. What'll you do if they catch on to us? Not much I can do. Ship that size, they'll probably blow us to bits before we ready cannons. Persistent little things. Evidently, I shouldn't have spared the wretched vermin. Hungry already, my dear. Worry not. For you shall have plenty to feast upon shortly. Perfect. You managed to get us right up beside them. I'll stay with the ship so we can leave as soon as you're done. Good. Then let's find Almadria. what I call a ship. Yeah. The biggest one in all of Mahogsar. So big that it took years to construct. For all we know, Kelzalik may well have been smuggling materials to help build it. In which case it would be yet another mistake on my part. We don't know that she was only getting materials from Menencia. You think it's possible that they might have come from elsewhere too? Yeah, I guess I could see it. But what do you think Almadria plans to do from here on out, now that she's abandoned her realm and sailed out to sea? She'll be filling her coffers with gold, most likely. Then she'll sit back and enjoy the show as the other lords duke it out. Or something to that effect, at least. I wouldn't put it past her. She's strong, yet shrewd, and will stoop to any low. A dangerous one, indeed. She's not the first, and she won't be the last. This is a lord we're talking about, remember? Sounds like you've made up your mind already. There was never anything to decide. No one who can smile like that while doing what she did deserves to roam free. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This might not be the best time, but if you have a minute... Hmm? That mask of yours, it was shattered by a blow from Balsef when you fought back in Calaglia, correct? Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I thought I was a goner. Balsef's brute strength was in a league all its own. Yet half the mask remains. It's remarkably durable. Too durable to be Danon in origin. Shion said the same thing. As if the fact I was wearing it meant there had to be more to me than met the eye. You recalled your name when the mask broke, I hear. Yeah, that's right. Although to tell you the truth... I'm a little scared what might happen when I lose the remaining half. Then again, the idea of not doing something because I'm afraid scares me even more. That's why I go on fighting. Only he who first faces the night catches a glimpse of the dawn. Come again? It's nothing. Forget I said anything.
should come in handy when crafting weapons. Behind you, Shion. No Shattering choice. You got it. Now, help with the power of the Frozen Hammer. I'll heal you all. Purge Malone. Healing circle. All you hear it now. I'll be saving you. Perfect flesh. Certainly not bad. No complaints here. Right, here goes. Now you'll learn. Oh, 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 save oh, you. Oh, oh. Not today. This one's got your name on it! Ask you ask it! Rising Lightning! 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 
Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Blade. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Go no further! refrain from losing. Never seen anything like it. It's an authentication key. They're quite common. Maybe where you're from, but this is new to me. It might go in an elevator somewhere. We should test it out. Go! 
sleep now. We got fire. I've got this. Let a marksman handle it. Throw it, throw it. All yours. I owe you one. Carve. I'm just getting started. Rendered flash. Managed to pull through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right behind you, Shion. Oh, this looks nice, Mika. What is that huge flower-looking thing up there? Is that the ship's engine? Indubitably. As one might expect, large ships require large engines in order to sail. And if we destroyed it? We might well sink the ship. Who knows if we would be able to escape before that happens. Uh. Almadria sure has been busy since the contest began. This isn't Almadria's doing. You mean she didn't build this? The body, yes. However, my guess is that the engine comes from a starship. A starship? As in one of those vessels used to go to and from Lenegas? Correct. The technology employed on Lenegas and in starships is more advanced than anything in our daily lives. Almadria may be resourceful, but she could never produce an engine like this on her own. You mean to tell me we've got even bigger enemies waiting for us up in the sky? Ugh, my head hurts just thinking about it. Don't worry about that for now. Just focus on taking care of Almadria. <laughs> Now, 
Lightning Tiger Blade! No shield can stand up to these things! My feeling, eh? Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Oh man, I hope I live long enough to regret this. They really don't give up, do they? Do it, Celestial! This one's got your name on it! Pass it to us! Here, let's go! First two! Lightning Orb! Leave the insane to me! Yeah! And your mother is to me! Eagle of Sword! Raven Sword! Blows Flight! Arc Field! Explosive Ring! Hear my call! Swallow Dance! Spread! Eagle of Sword! Step back! This one's all wrong! <laughs> right, here goes! First right. You're mine! Look at you! Where are you going? Oh, oh, right. 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 Yeah. Armor one, save you! Look, you look, 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 look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Target Show! Arctic Waterfall! Right. 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 That's your mind! Air thrust! Thanks! Let's keep our eyes on the prize. <sighs> hmm? You're saying we should check the Owl Forest? Like this should be easy. Astral energy. Say no more. Shattering double speed. You picked the wrong choice. Armor won't save you. Not in your dreams. Take this. Luna Corrupt. We managed to pull through. Got 